I have to move on. I have to go on to the next opportunity that God has for me. I had a, a, a lot of good opportunities, but I can't I think that that's going to be good enough for today because uh, there's a new devil, amen? Uh, there's a new trial. There's a new uh, circumstance. There's something all the time that the devil's trying to uh, throw up in front of us or put in front of the church or trying to stumble us up with uh, that we have to renew our anointing every day of our life. We are anointed this morning by God. Don't hesitate and don't uh, worry about whether or not that you've been equipped. God has said He has equipped us. He has anointed you. Amen. As His people this morning. And for God to come and say that we are His anointed is, is a pretty big thing. It's not just something that we should take lightly. And we should just sit there and just say, Oh, well, I guess, and you know, uh, I, yeah, we ask we're the anointed of God. We'll just sit back and let it know. If you're the anointed, you're the hands and the feet of Jesus. Amen. Uh, you need to get up and you need to use that. Amen. You need to get up and you need to give that away because you know what? There's a new one tomorrow. Now, don't try to hoard it up and don't try to keep it. You can't put this in a bottle. Uh, you can't keep it and you can't, uh, you can't just keep it and, and, and hide it and tuck it away from everybody. You have to share it. And give it away. Amen. Uh, because we can go, uh, we know the source. Amen. We know the source. We can go get it new every day. We can go get it new, Brother Danny, every day. Brand new. Every day. We don't have to walk in the same uh, old anointing. We, we can walk in something brand new every day. I don't know about you, but I know what it feels like to put on a fresh pair of socks. He better put on a brand new pair of socks. You know what I feel? I, that's, a, that's a blessing, ain't it, Harold? A brand new pair of socks, them things just, oh, they're tight and they don't, I mean, that's just like putting on the anointing every day. It's just like putting on that, bra that, that brand new, fresh out of the pack pair of socks. That's one of my favorite things. Just put that fresh pair of socks. Amen. Put that a new anointing on every morning. Amen. And wake up and be, and, and be ready to go. And don't, don't worry about what people think. Don't worry about what people say. Amen. Uh, we're living for the King. Amen. In 2016. I don't know about you, uh, but I'm excited what God's got left uh, for the rest of the year. Amen. Uh, we're a little over halfway. Amen. We're uh, uh, over halfway through this year. Uh, but I'm excited that God has more in store for us for this year. And don't sit there and think, well, what happened if the first year was good enough? Amen. It can be new every day. Don't be discouraged. Don't get downhearted. Don't don't let the devil steal your joy. Don't, don't let the devil say, well, you've done enough already. No, we got to keep going. Amen. Amen. we got to keep going. Uh, we got to keep doing uh, for the king, Brother George. we got to keep uh, digging in his word. we got to keep seeking him. we got to keep praying. Uh, we got to keep pressing in. Amen. we got to keep praying. Amen. Don't give up now. A lot of you are right on the brink of your, of your, of your blessings from God. I mean, you're right, you're right there. All you've got to realize is that you're the anointed of God. And you're the called of God. You, you, you're the anointed of God. I mean, uh, you, you have been chosen by God. I have been chosen by God. That makes me excited that God would choose me. Would choose me. Not just because I'm me, but because God chose me. Not by anything that I've done, but by what He's done. We're the anointed this morning of the Lord. You, you have been given the anointing by God. Amen. Let's take advantage of that. Amen. Amen. He wasn't nothing, David wasn't nothing of what people thought or the world thought that a king should look like because he was a little boy. He was a cute little boy, but he was a little boy. Probably wasn't very big, didn't have no muscles or nothing like that. What well, wasn't wasn't very big. Them other boys that, that Jesse walked out in front of him was probably big old strong strapping, had them big long locks of hair and just big old muscles sticking out on top of muscles everywhere. Uh, probably bitch press a Buick. I mean, just great they and, and by the world standards that's what everybody thinks. Oh well that's what a king's supposed to look like. Oh, that's what a church is supposed to look like. It's supposed to have them big, pretty front doors and them big, long, uh, concrete steps going up to those big, uh, big pillars and columns on the front. And the, uh, that's what a church is supposed to look like. Well, the church looks like this right here. Amen. This is what the church looks like. Amen. Ball headed, fuzzy bearded. This is what the church looks like. Amen. This is what the church looks like. 
It's not what everybody else says that it's supposed to look like. This is what the church looks like. Y'all some pretty good looking people if you ask me. And y'all are very strong individuals. Y'all have been anointed by God. Y'all have been chosen. Y'all have been anointed. Now we have to go out into the world and, and stand up to the devil. Uh, because I'm telling you that uh, he, the devil is just trying to take more and more and more possession. Anybody see where they're trying to do the satanic class or whatever? Uh, they want to do that? You know, uh, if the people of God sit back and they don't pray and they don't voice their, and they don't open their mouth and they don't do anything... Guess what? The devil's going to be right in there. Uh, because, that, I mean, that, that's what's happening to our... Uh, we've set back and we've allowed... And we don't understand that we're anointed of God. We've been called. Who? Little old me? Yes, little old you. Little old you. The same power that rose Jesus from the grave lives in us. Lives in us. That's, now, that's how I knew this morning. That was confirmation when... The first thing I got in the vehicle this morning uh, that God was speaking to me to tell His church about the anointing that they possess and that God has given you the power, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave. The same power that rose Jesus from the grave lives in us this morning. The church, it lives in us. Right here. You and me. If you would, Jamie, get a song. Let's stand this morning. Amen. The anointing of the Lord. Amen. This morning is in this place. And God is going to refresh us this morning as we begin to worship. If you would, I want everybody that will to come down this morning and line up across the front. And God's anointing is going to fall uh, this morning. And we're going to be refreshed and new. I know that God is going to do that for us in our lives uh, because we need that in our lives. I need it new every day. That's our program for today. I'm Bill Witte thanking you for listening to Redneck Theology. Your questions or comments may be emailed to redneckTheology at gmail.com. Please join me again next time for more Redneck Theology.